Hi Gemini, welcome back to Om Kara Taro and to another Love Bite. Gems, let's see what wants to show through for you today. But these are general collective readings. Please, please remember that and take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Gemini and send them the messages they need to hear the most right now. Thank you. All right, gems, let's start your reading. Welcome back, all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here again. And gems, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, gems, seven of wands, the hanged man, the hermit, seven of swords, the chariot, center of my spread, with the seven of cups, the lovers, the Emperor and the Four of Wands. Bottom of my deck, I have the Three of Pentacles, Gemini. Somebody either wants to work things out with the other person or possibly there could be a third party situation. I don't know, but there is some movement coming now for sure with the Chariot card in the center of the spread. So maybe there was a bit of blocking going on here. Or maybe somebody is now trying to see things from a higher perspective, wanted to come out of a stuck place. Maybe they've realized that they've made some very foolish maybe decisions in their life. There could have been some cheating, lying behavior. Uh, but I do see some movement coming. But a lot of confusion as well. Let's see. I'm going to start with some um, dialogue message cards here, Gemini. Once I do that, then we'll clarify all these cards, okay? So, Gemini and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Gemini and their person, thank you. Let's take a few more from here, gems. And Gemini, if any of you are looking for a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Okay. And we'll take a couple more from here, gems. Gemini and their person. All right, good to go, gems. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, You go to bed with someone else and your soul comes to make love to me. I know when you're with someone else and that just makes me feel heartbroken. You should be here making love to me. Well, I did suspect this could have been too many options or uh, third parties. I don't know. So, second card says, I didn't understand, I, I don't understand why you hide your feelings from me. And whenever you do open up, you run and hide. When you do get in touch, you act as if nothing has happened and give me little to no explanation of why you just vanished. This behavior makes me feel unappreciated and not valued by you. Who knew that one of the greatest challenges of my life would be the love of my life who after meeting would eternally haunt my very existence? I get so frustrated by the intense telepathy, the dreams and even strong sexual energy even though I am alone. Your hunger and desire for me have me burning up but you are nowhere to be found. This passion is an all-consuming, unextinguishable. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Gemini. I'm going to repeat this card again. I get so frustrated by the intense telepathy, the dreams and the strong sexual energy, even though I'm alone. Your hunger and desire for me has been burning up, but you're nowhere to be found. This passion is an all-consuming, unextinguishable fire and it's driving me crazy. I love you not only for your beauty but for your soul. Our love will be alive forever because of the way you are. Pure, true, authentic, real, raw and passionate. My heart breaks a little bit more every day that we are apart. Love and being loved is the most beautiful, crazy, unexpected and magical feeling I've ever felt. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. I love you to infinity. 
I want to restore your faith in me. I feel so much passion for you. All right, gems, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. I'm going to start with an angel blessing card as always. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice, commitment. Well, there could be something to do with the commitment here. Maybe you were not being offered it or you were not giving it. So let's see what the story is all about today. Or maybe somebody's returning back. So, Seven of Wands Spirit, what's the Seven of Wands for Gemini? Oh, this is somebody who's been avoiding a commitment. That is somebody who was probably blocking off their person, maybe behaving in a very rash, mean, harsh way with bad behavior. It was always their way or the highway. It was winning for the sake of winning. You don't tell me this. You don't tell me that. I will tell you how this connection has to, you know, progress or not progress. So yes, there, there could have been a lot of blocking done here. I mean, these are three not very nice cards because this is one person's behavior to blocking off their person, even though it seems that there was love here. Hanged man in reverse spirit. Hanged man in reverse. There, there was a lot of selfish behavior. There was a lot of selfish behavior. Somebody was being very selfish, self-centered, self-absorbed, maybe not wanting to commit to one person. I think that is uh, the, the other person, I think, now trying to get out of this stuck place and drop their past burdens now, now that the clarity has uh, come about their partner's behavior. Maybe they felt that uh, they were being fooled or uh, maybe they, they were just kind of making unwise decisions of, for their life. But uh, they are still hoping. Let's see. Oh, okay. So somebody now wants to have this uh, communication. I think somebody is now realizing their own mistakes. The person, I think, who was being selfish and who was being harsh or whatever, they are now realizing that they probably made some very unwise decisions in their life. I think they want to communicate now. They have taken a little time out to think of their own behavior and now may be ready to maybe talk. They do want to kind of work on this connection, it seems now, and uh, because this card was here as well, the Three of Pentacles. That means somebody wants to work, work on things uh, once again after feeling that they've made some unwise decisions in the past. Maybe there's been a lot of delay in uh, all this as well in their committing. Maybe they, ha they were not ready to commit at that point. Maybe this person was only chasing money and their business and their finances. And uh, that kind of took over their brain and they never got, took time to think about their long term plans. Uh, and they took maybe too long to maybe make that decision and that's now that they're coming to that realization I think for themselves that hey that was not the wisest decision that I made I was so consumed with power and position and this and that and the other that I probably hurt my partner so seven of swords spirit seven of swords yes now they they, now they feel they've lost the love of their partner. They feel they've drained their person out completely and that's not the nicest feeling for them. They're realizing that because of their own lying, cheating behavior, they have lost the love of their uh, Queen of Cups now. Now they don't know what to do. They don't want to come forward, but till now I think they're just waiting and watching and spying to see if there is any chance maybe of uh, coming forward now or um, reaching out and fixing things. They want to get out of their stress and tension. Whoever this person is who has behaved very, very badly, Gemini, I don't know whether it's you or it's been your person towards you. They have a lot of regret and sorrow for the way they've behaved now. They do want to move things forward. Uh, they want to get over their stress and anxiety. I think this person has taken some time out to reflect on their own bad behavior. Uh, and it's ended up making them feel terrible. This may made them feel I made very unwise decisions. I've lost so much of love that was being offered to me and this was a real cup of love ace of cups and what did i do i was chasing all the wrong things in my life so seven of cups spirit 
Yes, if they had any options or they were confused, now they are, they are now feeling that all these games that I was playing by holding back and not giving my attention, all this has now backfired on me. So maybe this person did have too many things to do. Maybe they had lots of responsibilities or they had uh, other things they were taking care of. Maybe they were keeping their options open. Um, now the confusion is uh, how to now get over all the toxicity that's been brought into this connection. All the wrongs that have been done, how to go past them. Uh, they really feel that all these games that they played have totally backfired on them and uh, that person has now become stronger and is holding back from them. So, lovers in reverse spirit, who's making this decision and choice? Again, two of swords in reverse. But who's making this choice? The Empress. I think this Queen of Cups who was never regard, who was disregarded, let's say, in the past by this person has now uh, made a decision for themselves. And because they've stood up for their own rights and their own self, this person has elevated spiritually or ascended, you know, in a very high way, even in the 3D world, from uh, be to becoming the Empress now. They found their self-worth, they are respecting themselves only because they made a choice, they made a decision that, hey, I'm not going to be disrespected, I deserve more than that. My person, yes, I did see them as an emperor, but, you know, they've always behaved like an emperor in reverse. This is not the kind of uh, treatment I'm going to tolerate. So, emperor in reverse. Yes, they're getting over their heartbreak, uh, realizing, yes, they, this uh, Empress has done a lot of healing, a lot of healing and uh, spent a lot of time, I think, in, um, you know, kind of reflection mode or tapping into their spirituality. I'm sorry, the light's just gone. It'll be back in a second, but I'm sure you guys can still see um, having a lot of rain and storm here. So, uh, having a bit of electricity problems, it'll be back in a second. Uh, so. Um, this empress has I think uh, taken time out of this connection to think about it and they have been spiritually guided I think because I have the star card here as well so a lot of healing and spiritual guidance has come to this empress that it's time now to heal your broken heart and maybe walk away from somebody who's trying to be over controlling or uh, not doing the right thing so yes, the Four of Wands is in reverse at the moment. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse, Spirit? One more. Okay, so now what's happened is this, uh, this is unrequited love at the moment, but it's also kind of, uh, maybe this is a lesson for this Emperor in reverse who's now kind of realizing, I do have feelings. Now they are in the upright, but still unable to express their emotions because now this empress has made their decision. And uh, now they are, they are feeling devastated about the fact that this was my soulmate, this was my soulmate connection. Now they are very, very, very unhappy that they lost a beautiful connection. So what's happened now that um, this empress has now come out of their hermit mode or their hanged man place and uh, taken back power and taken back control of their own life, it's put this emperor, emperor now who was in reverse into hermit mode. Now it's, uh, it's like what goes around comes around. So earlier maybe they were being very cocky and very, uh, you know, whatever that I'm not ready and I have so much to do. But their bad behavior actually pushed the Queen of Cups to become the Empress and now somebody is in regret. So what's this Three of Pentacles spirit? Will they work it out? Will they work it out? Yes, somebody is wanting now, somebody is desperately trying to heal themselves. They are also now ascending, they are also getting their spiritual guidance. And this emperor who was in reverse till now, um, uh, Gemini, is wanting now to end this fight or the barriers that they were putting up and request this empress that, hey, I can become a better person, can we work it out? I'm ready to be the emperor upright to my empress. So yes, they could be willing to bring on that commitment which they never did for so long, right? Uh, this commitment could be on its way and no wonder the chariot card was here, center of my spread. And as I say that, let there be light.
<laughs> all right. So that's all I have for you, Gemini. Um, yes, somebody has triggered a lot of growth and uh, ascension for somebody who was maybe in their very low vibration. And it's this Empress. And this Empress is leading the way here. So that's all I have for you. Till next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.